Hello, my name's Peter. Today is the 2nd of April. I thought I'd just do a quick video showing some of the plants that are starting to wake up now that we're in early spring. Um, so the first plant I'm going to show is my Chilean guava, or one of my Chilean guavas. And this is the flambo, uh, the variegated Chilean guava. Um, so I have shown this a few times over the last couple of months as it did suffer quite badly um, over winter. Um, so we got some tip uh, dieback. Um, also, it was in a very small pot. Um, it was only, probably only about nine centimeters or so, and it was drying out um, very quickly. Uh, so I repotted this a couple of weeks ago. You see if you look closely, there's quite a lot of new growth that's starting to um, push out all over the um, all over the branches little um, purple bits here see so yeah, it's starting to come back to life after after winter um, I'm probably going to cut back some of these um, dead tips uh, it's got a bit straggly anyway um, yeah so you can see there's lots of new growth um, starting to form on it all over even a bit lower down on some of the branches as well um, I do want to give it a good um, trim. I don't want to cut it back too hard though, as uh, I know it, it should be fine. As you can see, there are lots of uh, new growth lower down, so it will come back to life, um, if, even if I cut it back quite hard. Um, but I think for now, I'm just going to take the dead tips off it. So back here, I have another. Chilean guava. Um, this one isn't a named variety, it's just a probably a seedling. Uh, it's also started to push out some new growth. Um, and next to it there's a uh, Ogni Montana, a different species, but yeah you can see it's very small but it has been growing. Um, here we have a Luma apiculata, um, which is also started to push out some new growth. These are very small plants and probably need repotting to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably look to repot some of these plants today. I'm going to be repotting some of my figs as well um, and some other things today as it's a nice sunny day. It's actually quite warm here on the patio. It's only supposed to be about 11, 12 degrees today but here on the patio it feels a lot warmer than that. So here's my bottle brush plant. You can see all this, uh, this new um, growing tips here. In fact, these might be flower buds actually. Um, it did flower last year um, in summer, so I wouldn't wasn't expecting I wouldn't expect it to flower at this time of year. Um, but it might be could be uh, flower buds there. Um, quite early for flowering if it is uh, flower buds. So over here we have um, a fig tree, one of my fig trees. Got quite a number of uh, varieties now. Um, this particular one is um, it's a new one I got. Uh, you can see it's just started to wake up. Uh, this one is known as, let's have a look. It's called Bonholms or Bonholms Diamond. Um, from what I've seen, it seems like it could be just a pseudo name for brown turkey, although they claim it's supposed to be a different variety, very closely related to brown turkey. Um, most likely it's just the same, but it was supposed to be found, I believe, in Denmark and has also been grown in Sweden as well. Um, and does seem to fruit successfully there. And they're further north um, in those locations than where I am here in the northwest of England. Um, and next to it is another fig, um, fig tree that I got um, in the last couple of months. Uh, this one is a um, Cadota variety, apparently. I say apparently because I'm never 100% uh, accurate with these uh, with the labelling of some of these varieties of figs that you buy from nurseries but um, 
yeah, as you can see, it looks like it's got a little braber on there. Um, there was a second one on this node here, which you can't quite see because it's at the back. Um, but there was some tape wrapped around it when I uh, when I received it, and when I tried to carefully remove it, it actually pulled the little braber off. It was smaller than this one, uh, but all the sap um, poured out of it, so it had woken up uh, a few weeks ago when I got it. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's got at least one little braver there. And some new growth starting to uh, come out of different nose as well. Um, probably need to get that repotted. It's only in a, probably about a two litre pot, something like that. And yeah, there's uh, a number of other figs I've got over winter as well. This one's a new one. It's supposed to be Violet de Bordeaux um, or VDB. It did have, I think it was about three root suckers. Let's, let's see, there's two separate uh, branches coming from the roots here. And there was another one which I separated um, and removed and planted up here in the pot next to it. Um, and yeah, you can see most of them are starting to swell the buds at the end now. Um, there's more different varieties of figs here as well. I'm not going to go through every single one, um, so it'll take far too long. Um, and I'll wait till everything starts to leaf out. I'll show my uh, Rouge de Bordeaux, or supposedly Rouge de Bordeaux fig. It's the fig tree I've had the longest. Um, I got this back in 2017, believe it or not. It doesn't look very uh, big for the for the age of the tree um, and that's mostly due to the growing conditions that it um, I give it um, obviously it wasn't wasn't treated very well in the first couple of years my mistakes I was new to figs at the time so I kept it in a very small container um, I also had it inside quite a lot of the time as well which was a very bad idea um, as I didn't realise how hardy figs actually were. Um, but yeah, this fig has now, the last few years I've had it outside and it's never been protected. So yeah, I don't think it's uh, a problem in my climate even to protect them. Um, but yeah, you can see the buds are also starting to, just starting to swell as well. Um, this is one of my um, this is cooked and low quats. Just starting to push a little bit more than um, when I last featured it. So um, in this part of the garden I've got a few other um, small potted plants. And these are, well, this one here is a, a blueberry. Um, I think it's a variety called New Hanover. Let me just check. Yeah. So new Hanover, this variety. Um, as you can see, it's in a very small pot. So my um, task today is to repot um, some of my f um, some of my blueberries and some figs. I've got some ericaceous compost, which I'll be using to pot some of the blueberries up, because they need a nice um, acidic mix. Um, and yeah, this one is one of blueberries which I think has died. This uh, wasn't looking very good last year. I thought I'd just leave it, um, see if it comes back. But yeah, I don't think it's uh, going to come back. It wasn't the cold that's called this. I think it was actually left um, to dry out too much last summer. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just leave it till spring, summer this year, and see if it comes back. And this is another. Um, blueberry here, Ozark Blue. It's a late variety. That other one was a early variety. And yeah, I've got a few um, raspberries and things here as well. Um, black currants and raspberries, I think. Although I was a bit uh, unsure with the labelling of some of these. Yeah, here we have a few um, of my 
Ponsiris uh, trifoliata. Um, haven't started to grow yet. We can see they've still got some of the leaves from last year. The uh, the um, flying dragon here as well, with the curl um, the curly stems. But yeah, they've not started to grow yet. Um, but they should be fine. They're still green. Look healthy. A little bit yellow, but uh, I think they should start to green up a bit once they push out new growth. Um, yeah, the pineapple guavas. I'm not going to go through all the varieties, but there's, there's about five named varieties and a few um, unnamed or seedling ones here. Um, also looking fine, um, just starting to get buds on some of them now. Um, probably need to trim back some of the growth on some of these and repot them. Um, there's a little snail there in this one. But yeah, there's lots of uh, growth buds starting to form on them, so they should start to grow soon. I've got the front of this greenhouse open today as it's um, it's very sunny, so it's quite uh, quite warm in here. So I thought I'd get some ventilation going. Um, I'm not going to show too much of the uh, citrus today. I'm going to do a separate update on them. Um, but I thought I'd just show a few of the other um, plants in here that are just starting to come to life. So this is one of my jujubes. That's the variety Lang. You just see, um, I don't know if it's going to focus, but you can just about see there is some new um, green little buds starting to form on the side here. In fact, this stem is still green from last year. It hasn't actually fully lignified. Um, quite hard to see. So see if I can get it in a bit uh, better light. Might just about be able to see there. But yeah, the GGB is coming back to life now. And this is one of my Musabaju pups. Um, I kept it in the greenhouse and it did um, get a little bit of die back at the top. Um, not too much, but it's started to push back, uh, push through now. You can see this little leaf here starting to push a new one out inside as well. It's in the middle. Um, and then here we have a kiwi berry. Uh, this is the variety Isai. Um, it's supposed to be a um, self fertile uh, variety of kiwi berry. Um, Actinidia aguta is the uh, Latin name. And then down here I have my kiwi vine. It's the standard kiwi. Uh, it's supposed to be Jenny variety. See, it's got quite a bit of growth on it now. Um, yeah, this one is, um, as I said, it's supposed to be able to fruit without a, um, a male variety. As most kiwis, in fact, I think pretty much all of them need um, pollinating partners. Be able to set fruit. Don't know how well you'll be able to see, but this here is a another GGB. This variety is Dong. Um, just starting to come to life as well. I think there's a bit of tip um, dieback on some of these GGBs. Very tips are very thin and seem to have dried out, but lower down it looks okay and it's pushing out some new growth. Let's see how warm it is in here. Currently showing 28.1 degrees on this side. I mean, there is a bit more sun on this side of the greenhouse at the moment, so it's probably skewing it a little bit. And here I have a, a new plant. This is a grape. Um, it's supposed to be a Concord grape. Um, just starting to bud out as well. I have a couple of other grape vines that I recently got. So I'll probably figure out a way of trellising them and growing them in the against the fence. It's going to be quite hard to see, but back there is a brown turkey fig cutting 
recently repotted it. You can see it's starting to grow as well. And we have some goji berry cuttings also starting to come to life. I have some other larger goji berries which are already almost completely fully leafed now actually. They're all outside. I'll just quickly show them. I thought I'd just show this little pansy as well. No, it's not a tropical fruiting plant or an exotic fruiting plant, but it's one I grew from seed. Um, I had some in a hanging basket and I just took a few seed heads off and sprinkled a seed in here, a couple of seeds in here. It's grown um, over winter. It's pushed out the first flower. There's another flower here. Thought that might be interesting. So yeah, these were the or some of the goji berries that I was talking about before. These have been outside, not protected in any way. Um, they are very hardy plants. You can see um, leaves starting to come out all over the stems. Um, there's about three of them here, um, and amongst all these pawpaws I've got, which haven't started to grow yet. Um, but yeah, I do have a grafting project upcoming for the pawpaws, which I'll do in a separate video. I won't actually show the grafting process because I'm new to grafting, but I'll show the any results from that. Yeah, there's also a, I know I've gone kind of, probably gone on too long this video already. I said it was going to be a short video, but I thought I might as well show a few more things. Yeah, this is a, another pineapple guava. Uh, it's a new one I got um, not that long ago. Triumph variety. Has dropped quite a lot of leaves um, recently. And it's not cold related, I don't think, because this wasn't um, outside during the cold weather. I only got it after all the frost and freezes we had. Um, so I think it's more rain or to, you know excess moisture that's probably caused it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it'll start to push out new growth soon. And there's a few more tiny figs here, um, which are starting to wake up, which will probably need repotting as well. Um, yeah, there's some more trifoliate oranges here. These were all um, young seedlings that I got few months ago um, and these here are well let's see there's a bit of confusion going on here because I bought this as a Ronde Bordeaux because um, my Ronde Bordeaux that I've currently got seems to be a different variety um, so someone pointed that out so I was just gonna try and replace it see if I can get the actual variety and when this one came it actually came with uh, two labels on it. This one that says Ronde de Bordeaux and this one that says Rouge de Bordeaux, which are two different varieties. Uh, so when I contacted the supplier and showed them pictures, uh, they apologised and then said they'll send me another one. So this one came, same label as this one, um, but without the marketing label that says Rouge de Bordeaux. So I think these are actually exactly the same plant and they've just either put the wrong label on or it has or this is the right label and then this one was the wrong label by the UK nursery. Either way we'll have to wait and see what happens when it uh, eventually fruits. So yeah over here I have a few more trifoliate oranges um, these I recently got um, as you can see they're quite good size um, plants and they weren't much more than the uh, those small ones I got from Jurassic Plants. Um, so I got these, well originally I thought they were going to turn out to be much smaller than this so I was just going to let them grow a little bit um, but as they've turned out already a pretty decent size I think these are actually ready to be um, or attempt to graft onto them could try different types of grafting. Um, might try some um, some budding actually on this one, um, or some of these with larger um, diameters to the stems. 
but I could also try um, cleft grafting or some other types of grafting techniques on some of these smaller branches as well. Um, but yeah, I got those with the intention of potentially um, producing some more of the rarer varieties of citrus that I've got. Um, lastly, as this video is getting quite long, I thought I'd just quickly show the two remaining peaches. I know I didn't show the other two, but I did feature them recently in a video. These are the Crimson Bonfire and the Red Haven variety of peach, um, which are a little bit behind the other two peaches. And that's probably because they've been inside the inside a the shed. There's not much light. Um, to keep them dry. You can see supposed crimson bonfire has started to produce some flowers. I'm actually a bit suspicious of this one. Um, I don't think it actually has turned out to be the right variety. So the leaves are not red yet. Um, supplier, I contacted the supplier and they assured me that uh, it was the right label and was the right plant and that the leaves would change red. I don't quite believe that actually. From what I've seen the the leaves tend to be red when they first come out but I thought I'd give them the benefit of the doubt and we'll see over the uh, spring whether it turns out to be the right variety or not. Um, I could always contact them again if it turns out to be something else and they said they would if it turned out to be something else they would send me a replacement but it does look healthy nonetheless. And yeah, the Red Haven just starting to bud out as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's any flowers off these are all leaf buds. It's too early to say. It could be mostly flowers or leaves, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we'll have to see how that uh, develops. So I thought I'd just show some of the developments here early spring um, and I'll do some more updates once more um, of these plants come to come to grow into growth again so yeah if you do enjoy these videos don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video